Melt the backs of the legs and the hips into the earth with gravity. Feel a readiness within yourself to go deeper. And extend the left leg out for Janu Shasasana. The sole of the right foot rests on the left inner thigh. Bring the hands either side of the left leg. And take a moment to create as much length through the spine as you can. And then as you exhale, release into the pose. And with every breath, you can continue to find lightness and length in the spine as you inhale. And greater depth into the pose as you exhale. Inhaling and drawing yourself up. Now if you can, take the right leg back so that the knee is behind the hip for Revolve Chanushasasana. Left elbow to the left knee, or if possible, to the inside of the thigh. And then sweep the right hand up to cup over the head and we'll pulse here a few times, imprinting the opening through the chest. So as you exhale, the right elbow softens down. And on the inhale, right elbow opens up to the sky. But not just from the shoulder, not just from the elbow, but rather from the pit of the belly. Let the belly pivot open to the sky. Now stretching the right arm alongside the ear, you could pause here. Or if you have the mobility, reach and catch hold of the little toe side of the foot. And maybe sliding that left hand over to the right knee. Inhaling and bringing yourself up now. Right hand plants onto the floor and we flow. Inhaling, lifting the hips and into an easy sage pose. And exhaling, lowering the hips down. Inhaling, lifting over to the other side into wild thing position. And exhaling. So three times, back and forth, slowing the process down without holding your breath. That breath is packed with prana shakti. Say yes to it. Breathe in and fill your body. Exhaling and clearing out. And then releasing the hips down. And we'll come around into pigeon pose. Bring the weight onto the right hip so that the left leg can become light ensuring that the right knee is off to the side so that you can fold down to the inside. Lift up onto fingertips, lift and open through the chest and exhaling, rippling the spine forward and down. Lifting up from the back of the heart, lifting through the crown and exhaling from belly to chest. Inhaling, lifting and opening. And then this one, exhale and folding and settling in, coming onto the elbows. And if you have the openness, you can take the elbows to the side and settling in further. You may need to place some support under the right hip also. Then planting the hands firmly. Stretching yourself back into downward facing dog with the right leg lifted. And exhaling, lowering that right leg down. Inhaling, left leg rises up. And exhaling forward into pigeon pose. Again, rippling the spine or perhaps diving straight in. Yogi's choice here. Inhaling and exhale, folding. This rippling movement creates freedom in the spine, allowing you to dive in a little deeper. Unraveling any tension in the neck. Softening the jaw. 
finding that area of tension and tightness and breathing spaciousness, breathing openness in, surrendering to gravity. Gravity is your friend here. Now inhaling your way up. Take the weight onto the left hip. So once again, we work with the breath and move into easy sage pose with the left hand and the left knee on the floor. And exhaling, lowering down. Inhaling and lifting up into your wild thing position on the right hand now. And exhaling, lowering down. Inhaling, sweeping back up, trying to use minimal effort to create an efficient movement like you're moving through water with your breath. One last time, inhaling, lifting and exhaling, lowering. Inhale, floating up like an, a balloon and exhaling, lowering down. Coming into your Janu Shasasana, now the revolved position, right elbow either onto the knee or to the inside. Reach the left arm over and cup the head. Focusing on your breath to create length through the spine. And as you exhale, elbow towards the earth. Inhaling and opening out and exhaling, folding in. Journey along the full length of the breath, pausing and holding, either staying here, supporting the head and neck, reaching the left arm over or taking the bind as you can see here. Inhaling and bringing yourself up and reducing the angle of the legs now as you bring the right inner thigh and the left sole of the foot together. Inhaling, getting long and exhaling, folding yourself in. Feeling the support of the earth beneath you and melting in with softness, with openness. Inhaling and drawing yourself up. And then releasing into Dandasana, using the hands for support. Still feeling yourself being held by the earth. 